Hi, in the previous two tutorials, we install Liferay 7 and see some of the basic features of Liferay 7. So, we have this kind of structure. This is Eclipse, this is server and this is a workspace where there is like two folders, metadata and remote system temp files. So, in this video, we create our first portlet. So, before creating our first portlet, we know that Liferay 7 is based on OSGI and we are using a Gradle tool. So let me just change the perspective to Liferay workspace and this. So Gradle is a build tool. So in Liferay 7 we are not using Ant or Maven. We can use Maven but by default Liferay provide a tool name as Gradle. So let's create our first portlet. So right click new and there is Liferay module because in OSGI everything is a module. So if you want to start you can read about OSGI modules. So now I need to provide our project name. So first name is like hello. And here is if you want to create MVC portlet or portlets or like service service builder, so you can create this kind of thing. If you are using it first time, it may take some time. So provide your controller class. I will provide like demo and package. And these are properties. So by default, I'll leave it as blank and click on finish. So this may take some time. So now it's created successfully. So this is our project. And inside our workspace, hello is created. Look, this is the structure inside the workspace so let me just open this so this is our package so this is our controller so in liferay 7 there is no xml file like portlet.xml or liferay display.xml all the properties are here in the annotation at the rate component so these are the properties which are showing in initial stage. Let me just change this category. And click on save. And inside this I read the do view method. And write a simple SOP statement. So this is our controller now this is our content folder where we have properties file for internationalization so these are by default some of the properties and inside resources we have two JSPs one is init and one is view.jsp so this is init.jsp which contain all the import statements And this is view.jsp which include this init.jsp and a message. So let me just delete this and write my own message.
so this is main file in OSGI we have a file manifest.ms which take all the symbolic name and version related thing so this is exactly similar as manifest.ms so let me just deploy this and see what happen so go to grill task and open build and just double click on deploy So our project is built successfully. So in OSGI, everything is a bundle. So bundle means a class file, manifest, .mf or XMLs, basically a jar file. So it's built successfully. Let me show you the jar. So inside our workspace, there is a folder bundles which is created. So in OSGI, modules and look, this is our project. So just copy this and inside your server in deploy folder paste this. Check the console. So now processing hello.jar and it started. This means our project is deployed. So in OSGI we have a life cycle where we have start and other phases also so our bundle is started so let me just add this on our page so inside application click on this and click on add and look our portlet is successfully deployed. And we have a message on our console. Look inside view. It's a message we write in our do view method. Here. That's it for now. In the next tutorial, we will explore some of more Liferay 7 features. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.